Looking to speed up your Windows 10 experience? We'll show you how. The first thing to do is a Windows update. So click the Start menu, select Settings, scroll down to the bottom, and select Update and Security. Click Check for Updates and let Windows perform the necessary updates. With Windows updates done, let's do a virus scan. Click on the left-hand menu and select Windows Security. Select Virus and Threat Protections. Now click Quick Scan and let the system check itself for viruses. If your system encounters a virus, then you should deal with that first before moving on. Otherwise, let's move on to the next step. Google Chrome is one of the most popular browsers, and many people don't realize that some of its features slow down your browser experience significantly. One such feature is the use of extensions. We want to remove or disable any extension not being used. To do that, click on the three dots in the right-hand corner. Hover over More Tools and select Extensions. Google branded extensions we generally leave alone. But as you can see, I have three other extensions here that I don't regularly use. Honey, Todoist, and Voice in Voice Typing. You can click the toggle to disable an extension, keeping it available for you in the future should you need it, or you can outright remove the extension by clicking Remove. Every piece of software you have installed that you don't use not only takes up hard drive space, but some programs may actually sit in memory. Removing this useless software is a must. So to uninstall software, simply click the Start menu, click Settings, and finally, click on Apps. Here, we can see a list of most of the programs installed on your computer. In my case, I see that I have Recuva installed, which I'm not using anymore. So let's remove it. To remove it, find the software in the list and click on it you will see two buttons pop up. Click on Uninstall. Do this process for every program on your computer that you're no longer using. If you're like me, speed trumps beauty. So let's disable some of the bells and whistles and see if we can't reclaim some of our speed. Click the search box and type in This PC. Now right-click the result that says This PC and select Properties. On the left-hand menu, click Advanced System Settings. Now click Settings inside the Performance Container. Click the radio button titled Adjust for Best Performance and click Apply. Then click OK and go back to the desktop. Back at the desktop, open the Start menu, open Settings, scroll down, and finally select Ease of Access. Scroll down to Simplify and Personalize Windows and untoggle Show Transparency in Windows. Finally, scroll down a bit more and untoggle Show Desktop Background Image. And with that, let's move on to the next step. To clean up basic system files, click the Start menu, open a folder, click This PC, right-click your C drive, and select Properties. On this screen, click Disk Cleanup. In most cases, the default options are fine. However, you can select other categories of files to clean up by clicking the checkboxes. Click Clean Up System Files when ready. Nothing slows down a computer quite like a hard drive with almost no space left. Most of the time, your lack of space is due to long-forgotten, unnecessary files that are taking up too much space. The best tool for dealing with this is a free program called Winderstat. Winderstat can be downloaded at Winderstat, that's W-I-N-D-I-R-S-T-A-T dot net. Once downloaded, install Winderstat and you'll be greeted with this screen. Select the hard drive you wish to scan and click OK. Winderstat will scan every file in your system, mark their size, location, 
and file type and show you what's taking up the space. Most of the red and green stuff we see here is windows and system files. But what's that big blue area? You can see that clicking it on the bottom shows the file on top. Looks like I have a folder with old video files. Let's go into that folder and see. You can jump directly to that folder by clicking it in the folder list and selecting Explore Here. And there you go, a folder full of unnecessary files. Let's delete them. Look at that, we just reclaimed 14 gigs in a matter of minutes. That should definitely help our hard drive issues. Do this every once in a while and you should be able to maintain a healthy hard drive. You may not realize it, but your computer slows down to conserve power. In many cases, you can actually force the computer to run at its maximum potential at the cost of an increased power usage. To change the power plan on your computer, you can simply type power and sleep in the search box. Then select power and sleep settings. In the right panel, scroll halfway down the page to related settings and click additional power settings. If you want to maximize your PC's hardware potential, click on show additional power plans and select high performance. As clean as you think Windows 10 might be, it's actually filled with bloatware that slows it down. Utilizing a tool called dbotnet, we can strip Windows down to its bones and gain a bunch of performance. To download dbotnet, go to this site, mir I-N-S-O-F-T dot com slash D-E-B-O-T-N-E-T. -E -E the link will be in the description below. Once there, click the download button to the right, then click on the download button in the center. With the botnet downloaded, extract it and run it as administrator. You can disable features one at a time, selecting them and clicking run script. Or to disable many things in one go, check each thing you want to disable, then simply click the Run link to the right. There are many things you can do with dbotnet, installing helpful apps, uninstalling Windows default apps. For example, the new phone app can be uninstalled. You can even disable Windows Edge features. Right now, dbotnet is one of my favorite tools when it comes to cleaning up Windows 10, and I think it'll be yours as well. Just because a program is invisibly running doesn't mean that pieces of that program aren't doing things in the background. Some of these programs, or rather services, can be good, while others simply waste your system resources. Let's disable some of these unneeded services. In the search bar, type in the following, msconfig, and press enter. Click the services tab. Now. Click on the checkbox at the bottom to hide all Microsoft services. What remains are all non-essential services relating to your operating system. Some of these services may be required, while others are completely unnecessary. Disable whatever services you like by clicking the checkboxes and clicking apply. Don't worry, if you disable something and a program you like stops functioning, it can be reversed by rechecking the checkboxes and applying the changes. After you're done with this, it's a good idea to restart your computer. And speaking of restart, many of the programs installed on your computer don't need to start up with the computer, especially if you only situationally use these programs. So let's reclaim some of our speed and memory by removing these programs from startup. In the search box, type Task Manager and run it. Now select the Startup tab. Here you can see the standard startup apps and their impact on startup speed. For example, if we look at Discord on the list, to the right of it you can see that it has a high startup impact. This is not something you generally want. To disable a startup item, highlight the item, right click and select disable. Do this to all startup items you wish to disable. Other tutorials on YouTube would tell you to stop there. However, many don't realize that some startup items are buried deep within your registry. Some viruses even hide their startup in the registry, so it's important to check for these rogue startup items. 
To do this, we're going to download a program called Auto Runs. Auto Runs is a downloadable program provided by Microsoft. To download Auto Runs, Google it and go to this site. Also, the link will be in the description. Now, download it, and once extracted, run Auto Run 64 as administrator. Agree to the license agreement. And here we can see a list of all startup items in the registry. You can disable or enable any startup item you like. If you disable something by mistake, you can always come back here and re-enable them later. So don't worry too much. This tool is invaluable for virus removal, along with cleaning up rogue startup scripts. Once you're done, restart your computer and check your task manager. You can see here that we've completely removed most startup items from the system. It's almost like this was a freshly installed system. Years ago, computers ran at their maximum speed all the time. And regardless of how hot they got, so long as they didn't overheat, they would stay at that level of performance. Today, it's a different story. CPUs now only run at their maximum speed when needed and run at a much lower speed when idle or doing light tasks. Another feature of modern CPUs is thermal management. Now, unlike before, your CPU will actually lower its speed to prevent it from getting too hot. As heat kills hardware, this is actually a good thing. If your system is too dirty and your case or CPU fans are clogged with dust, you might be suffering reduced performance brought on by the heat in your system unable to escape. There are countless examples of people actually getting higher frame rates in video games by simply cleaning out their system. Thermal throttling is real, and it should be taken seriously. Something as simple as taking a can of compressed air to your system every month or two. It's more than enough for most systems and should be part of your regular maintenance. Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always guys, if you like this video and you want more like it, do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. Thanks for watching.